Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today we have the Ultra Asset Mega Pack. And I feel sorry for whoever has to come up with these names, because you can only use, like, Ultimate, Extreme, and Ultra, and so on so many times before you start running out of these words. Anyways, this one is uh, an asset pack for Unreal Engine, though, as you will see in this video, you can export them out to other game engines. Uh, guides for that are down below. Organized into tiers, you buy a higher value tier, you get all of the assets below it. The cool thing about this one is 28 of these packs are brand new, first time to Humble. You'll notice it is marked here first time on humble if well it's the first time it's been on humble uh medium price tier never makes sense so you're either gonna get the one dollar tier with these three assets in it or you're gonna get all 37 so what you're gonna notice from there if i'm mathing right that means that nine of these like uh some of them are marked here this one for example have been in previous bundles but for the most part all of this stuff is brand new so at least well, majority 27 out of um uh, 38 so uh pretty good there actually 28 out of uh, 37. Uh, dyslexia. Dyslexia is kicking in. Anyways, we're going to jump in and take a look at some of these assets here. Uh, it's 35 bucks USD, I do believe. By the way, if you do buy this bundle, it does help support me if you use my link. And thank you so much if you do. So here's one of the assets. I'm going to show you about half a dozen, I think. Um, they look good. They're modular in nature. They got a demo level showcasing what it's capable of. Uh, here is one such level. Uh, here we can see a bed area, uh, and then by the way, boom, here we can see bed area and same asset. Obviously, the lighting is really wonky here, uh, but that's what you get when you get these pre-created levels. But what you're going to notice here is if you're in, say, the Godot game engine, and you bring this over, boom, there's a bed. All right, so now I need bedding for it. Oh, boom, there's some bedding. Oh, there's other bedding, uh, and so on. So if I need some books, drop some books in and so on. So getting these out and working in other game engines, no problems at all. Now, you might notice sometimes that the um, the lighting, again, in the demo levels doesn't fully match up. That's to be expected. Uh, that's just a difference between game engines. But as you notice here, all of the assets themselves look pretty darn good. So again, you can get these out into other engines, so do not sweat it if you are not particularly an Unreal Engine user. These are useful to everybody. Guides are down below. So that is the first asset there. Uh, this is the... Um, Echo Prime Space Station, I believe it was called. Now time for a small rant. I hate when people do this. So this is the Creepwood Carnival meshing gun. But the truth of the matter is, this is actually food truck. I hate when they name things different, and I hate when they don't follow a standard um, folder convention. This one's kind of an alone in doing that, at least. So this one here is from Meshing Gun Studios. You see here all the various different bits here. So we got some ice cream carts, ice cream truck, candy shop, uh, burger shop. Um, uh, Cafe L'Amour, uh, we got this, just confections, and of course, all of the little fridges and, and bits and bobs that go in it, and then here we got, uh, donut and pizza shop and hot dogs, uh, so, uh, number of different food trucks, carnival type things, all in this particular pack, again, easy to export out if you want to use them in another engine. Next up, we have something a little bit more stylized. Uh, this is actually extremely stylized. This one is the, uh, Elven stylized wood and here we go. So again, it's got that uh, more painterly uh, look to it. So you see it outside over here. Uh, and then we got a number of different uh, houses and so on. So again, it's an Elven village. I, I don't think there's interiors. No, no, very much no interiors. Uh, but a number of exteriors for creating a complex, um, you know, stylized art Elven village. And then you got these... Um, Ocean, the, the rivers and then the uh, waterfalls, etc. here as well. Cool little asset pack. Again, obviously a much different style. We've got a few that are in the stylized and then few that aren't. So uh, one of those things to be aware of. Next up, we have the mansion asset. So here you can see it in action. Uh, this one might be a repeat from previous bundles because I'm pretty sure that I've seen it before. Uh, but it's basically a creepy ass. Is there, is there alcohol in there? No, there's not. Uh, creepy ass uh, mansion environment here. Again, everything you see is modular, so you can put it together in various different ways. Or if you just need paintings, you can come in here and grab paintings. You just need a chandelier. You can just get a chandelier, that kind of thing. All right, so that one's pretty straightforward again. I think that one we have seen before. Uh, and then we've got Mayan Ruins. This one is another one of the stylized one. Uh, it's pretty asset, uh, so let me just load that one up quick. There we go. Go into game mode, and here you can see uh, we got we got that guy there, uh, Quetzalcoatl or something along those lines. Uh, over here, we've got like you know hallways and so on. 
So this is not hyper stylized, but I do think it is slightly stylized in the look. Again, modular in nature, all that you need to create this particular scene. Uh, and then we're moving on. Let's see another one. This is a spaceship. So this is a modular spaceship. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. So you can see here, there are, it reminds me of the, uh, like the drop ship from, uh, is it Battlestar Galactica or is it Halo? Anyways, you see here, you got a number of different exteriors for it, different uh, cowlings or hoods you can set on the outside. So you've got like a carbon fiber stealth version of it. And then we've got other versions of it going on here as well. And then you're going to notice you've got flooring. And then over here, you've got spaceship internals that you can work with modular. We've got different engine sets going on here. Uh, we have this booster rocket thing going on over here. And then we even have a couple of, um, we got, I think, solar panels there and a few planets to work with as well. And if you actually go ahead and look inside of one of these spaceships, uh, here you can see kind of like the the empty version of it and how you can put it all together. And here is with one particular layout configuration. And then each one of these you're going to notice has a different layout or settings going on as well. So um, yeah, a number of different settings for your ships, very modular in nature, uh, cool stuff. All right, and then our final demonstration, uh, this one I think is the futuristic cars one. Uh, and let's just load that one up quickly. And what you're gonna see here is a number of futuristic cars. There's also a number of other car packs in this one. So regular vehicles like forklifts and buses and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how much interiors they all have. Oh, they all full interiors and HUDs, which is actually pretty impressive. So uh, different HUDs on each one. So if you need cars for your game, some very uh, in-depth future kind of cyberpunk 2077 s cars in that particular pack. All right, so let's head back on over. Uh, that's the end of the hands-on portion. Let's go back to the bundle itself quickly. So again, uh, 37 total items in this bundle for 35 bucks, so less than a buck an item, which is pretty good. Um, 28 of them are completely brand new. This creator, the Art Core, completely new as far as I remember. And then Decagon and Meshing Gun, we've definitely seen in the past. So we've got here, starting at the top, hot air balloons, theme park ride, uh, an attic environment, the space kit, we saw that one in action, uh, a whole bunch of lighting settings, stylized crypt, uh, an amusement park, uh, then we got the Vintage Mansion. We saw that one in action. Boats, or boat yard. So this is tugboats and props and so on. Uh, Airport Volume 1, the Mayan Ruins. We saw that one in action. And the uh, Elven Oak Village. We saw that in action. And then Echo Prime Living Quarters. We saw that one in action as well. Uh, and then the food trucks. We saw that in action. Airport 2, Alchemist. Futuristic vehicles, we saw that in action. And as I mentioned, there's a number of other vehicle settings here as well. So this is like earth movers, bulldozers, forklifts, that kind of things. Uh, and then here we got fire trucks, ambulance, helicopters, and so on. Uh, and then 1970s office, Christmas assets, camping, airport signs, or airport set three, uh, circus, medieval village, uh, deco VFX, fog, rain, and water, a swing, a job site, uh, general effects, uh, bees, wasps, and flies, gothic texture pack, gothic dungeon, roadside, by the way, wherever you're driving is a terrifying place and you should be, shouldn't be there, military supplies, so cloth, clothing and bags, uh, hand tools and paintings, sound effects collection, a little bit out of place with the rest of the bundle, but hey, you've got theme park sound effects, you got a number of theme park assets here, so I guess you got everything you need to go to create your own terrifying theme park game uh, with this bundle, including music. And then we got foliage, so this is nanite low poly tree stumps. And then finally, we've got some more for the job site. Speaking of job site, quick reminder that this is ongoing right now. I just did a video about this yesterday. So the Unreal Engine Asset Giveaway is on until November the 4th. This is on Fab, so you're going to notice here, construction props will definitely go well with that job site thing. So this is currently available for free. So head on over to Fab. Uh, you will find the currently free or limited time free. You've got these three assets available there as well, in addition to this bundle. And this bundle, by the way, good news and bad news. <laughs> so the good news is all of these assets redeem on FAB. So you get FAB keys for every single one of these assets. It was as if you purchased them on FAB, which is very cool. The only downside is you get an asset key for every asset here. So it was 28 redemptions, which part kind of sucks. I, I really hope that at some point in the near future, FAB gets a single key redemption and you can get all kinds of things in a bundle. But right now it ain't there. So it's a bit of an arduous process redeeming them all, but it also gives you the ability to share or if you already have a duplicate, you could send it to someone else, etc. So it is a double-edged sword. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The Ultra Asset 
pack or mega pack. Uh, so 28 first time assets, a total of 37 assets overall. Unreal Engine, but once again, all the guides down below for getting it out to like Unity, Blender, Godot, etc. are there. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.